Okay, we are now going to get into our next session of Dreamweaver and in this session we are going to look at how to load site definitions as well as a short orientation to Dreamweaver. To work with Dreamweaver it is always best to load your site definitions because they help you manage your files as well as FTP over to the server. So here I have started Dreamweaver on the right hand side I can see that I've got icons such as desktop, computer, etc. These are pretty typical. Notice also I've got this yellow icon for my desktop item. Another indicator that I have not really loaded my site definitions. On the right hand side I could click on manage sites or I could drop on the drop down list and go down to manage sites or even alternately I could come up to the main toolbar and click on manage sites. Any of those ways will get you there. Now if I want to go ahead and bring in a new site definition and again I happen to have multiple site definitions here that's fine but we're going to bring in our MSCT site definition. I'm going to click on import and I'm going to click on computer and I'm going to navigate to my thumb drive by double clicking on it. I'm going to double click on my name folder and I'm going to double click on my site definitions folder and here is the MSCT overall site definition. I'm going to click on open. It's going to look at the cache and I'm going to click on done. And that's it in terms of loading site definitions. Now notice that when we first load our site definition it opens as a collapsed folder. All I need to do is click on the plus sign and that will open up my content so that I can go ahead and start manipulating it. The other thing I would like to do in this particular tutorial is just review some general Dreamweaver outline pieces the primary work screen for Dreamweaver is this large window right here. This piece down here at the bottom is called the property inspector and over here on the right hand side are multiple panels that are typically used throughout the design process. Taking a look up here, this is pretty typical when you first start Dreamweaver, particularly CS4. It starts you into the designer mode I happen to like to switch to the classic mode so I'm going to go ahead and do that now and notice that it brought all my files towards the top of this right and it dedicated a fair amount of space down here to these CSS styles. I'm going to be using these CSS styles quite a bit throughout my design process so I like to have a nice large space for them. I can shrink and increase the window sizes as I would need to and basically those are the biggest things to get oriented to at this particular moment. We're going to learn more about the details of how to manipulate and use Dreamweaver in our next video.